Hello Aquarius, we're getting started with your love reading. So I want to welcome everyone new to the channel. Thank you for stopping by. Glad you're here. So let's take a look and see what the bottom of the deck energy is for your reading. It is a lover's card. Ooh la la. Okay, Gemini energy. So you may be dealing with a Gemini, but it is also all about making choices. The energy that you're bringing into the reading, well, party girl, woo woo, three of cups energy. You're all about having fun. You're treating your person of interest as a really good friend. They could be a buddy. They could be friends with benefits, but it's time. It looks like you're going to have to make some changes or some choices in this relationship. But the Three of Cups is celebration, fun, being rowdy, just laughing, enjoying the moment, living in the moment. Your person's energy coming into this reading is, ooh, the Two of Cups. So your person is feeling very serious about you, Aries. They are looking to have a relationship. Their energy is all about commitment, the two of you alone, spending intimate time together. You know, in the Rider Waite deck, it's a bride and groom, acknowledging their love for one another on an altar. So this is all about marriage, commitment, um, the energy of the soulmates of the minor arcana, and, you know, you're just in an energy of, like, maybe even friends with benefits. Depends on how it resonates. So when we look at the actions that you may take this at this time, we see the hanged man. Looking at things from a different perspective, it's a very inactive kind of energy. Your person's actions at this time are the page of swords. Well... There, this is a very a bit of a swashbuckling energy. The Page of Swords is a spy card. <laughs> we see this cute little devilish grin here, but we see a pirate. Somebody who's breaking the rules. Somebody who's tracking you down. Somebody who's watching you closely. <clears throat> What's hidden in the relationship is a Five of Cups and sadness. Five of Cups, an apology may be owed. Somebody feels as though they deserve an apology, but there's some hurt feelings here. What we see is the outcome at this time in the relationship is Six of Pentacles. As you close out the relationship, we see both of you wanting to have an equal give and take and being very affectionate with one another. All right, we are clarifying with Kim Cran's Wild Unknown. Okay, so let's see why we have the Lover's card here for you as the overall energy. What is the choice that has to be made? There's certainly passion in this relationship. Ace of Wands, throwing caution to the winds, taking a chance, um, a passionate new opportunity. But there's been some conflict between the two of you. Somebody here is open to other people and i have to say right now aquarius you actually have that energy more than your person of interest the five of wands so it does look like the choice that has to be made or the choice that may be required is that to have a beginning or a new beginning with your person that competition has to be eliminated when we look at the energy of the Three of Cups, Eight of Coins, you like to get to know people very well before you commit. I get the Chariot card. I like this. This is Aquarius. There you are in your reading. You're very optimistic. You're very happy-go-lucky. The Chariot card, you're happy to move forward very quickly. I just don't see you making too many big promises. In fact, but you're well-intentioned. The Eight of Coins is getting to know you, getting to know all about you. The Chariot card is moving forward very rapidly. The Star card is hopes and dreams for love coming true. So, But you're keeping this person as a friend until you define that your relationship has advanced through merit. Uh, you want to make sure that if you make a choice, you make the right choice. So that yeah, it's very logical. Okay, your person is coming in with the energy of the devil. So that's some toxicity. So they want to lock this down. The justice card, again, that's another card of commitment. So we have justice, the devil, the father of cups. So that's the Scorpio king and the sun card. So we're getting your person wanting to lock it down. They say that, or, you know, the cards are saying that they find you to be their source of happiness. And that, I think, is actually the problem. You don't want to be their source of happiness. 
The devil card says that, you know, you want them to be balanced. They want to be balanced. They love very deeply. You are their happy space. But this toxic energy, why is it here? Ah, see, more toxic energy. The way they think, the way they communicate, the way they feel. Okay, so what's going on with this toxic energy with your person? Tell us more about this. What's going on here? The two of coins. Okay, so... Your person feels as though they're being juggled, and we can see it here, the Five of Wands. So they want this relationship with you. You want the relationship with them, but how you see the path forward is very different than how they see the path forward. They feel with that devil card what they're trying to control, because that's what the devil is, chains, chains of holding you down or controlling you or making you feel that way. And what we get is that they want balance, they want commitment, they do not want to be juggled. They definitely feel that they are, they feel that that's toxic energy, and that is something that is troubling them. Tell us more about that. Let's see if we can find out more. Father of Wands. So you have somebody who's accustomed to being a leader here. They're a very fiery personality. You may be dealing with a Leo. But we see that your person is not going to really accept the relationship if you're dating other people. They, they want to take time to get to know you. They feel as though to even decide that you're going to go to the next level or be committed. They feel that both of you have to come to the table with the energy that says that you're going to focus on each other, not a bunch of people. And that you'll get to know each other that way and then you'll make the decision. So... Both points have merit, but I would actually say that it's, you know, it's very hard to make a commitment when you're having fun with a bunch of different people, and that's their concern. Why is a hanged man here? You are in this hanged man energy like la da 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 tower card. Okay. So there is something that's happened in your life that makes you not so anxious to jump in quickly. Why is a tower card here? The Seven of Wands. You're defensive. So you're really guarded. That's what I see. You kind of have your guard up. You're really afraid. I think that you're afraid. You know, I, I see this, this healing energy here, but you do want to take your time. Getting to know you, getting to know all about you, but very much. Eight of Coins is here twice. Oh, that's Seven of Coins. Excuse me. You are invested. Sorry about that. So you are invested, but you know, you definitely want to get to know this person better before you give make any commitment at all to them, other than friendship. Six of Wands is a victory. That's Leo energy. So both of you are a little bit in your egos, a little bit. There's some real conflict here. This is Leo energy. That's Leo energy. Underneath there we had Leo energy. So, you know, we're really seeing a lot of differences of opinion. Now, Leo is your seventh house. So Leo is usually a good marriage partner for you. The three of coins. Again, we have two threes. So Aquarius, I'm going to just say that you have someone else that you have an interest in. Absolutely the case. Your person has found this out. They've learned on the internet that they are not the only person. And they are not happy. This can be very vice versa, as most of you know. So let's see what this is about. Three. See, three of cups. They see you out with friends, and they definitely are getting the vibe that it's more than friendship. They definitely feel that way. So what else about this? What else do we need to know about that party card? You know, they don't like that. You want to go out and party. Another party card. Nine of cups. Eat, drink, be merry. It's a card of great happiness. It can be wish fulfillment, but it also is the energy that, you know, when they bring this energy in, they have friends too. They have a group of friends, but, you know, we're really seeing them paying attention to you and what you're up to. The Wheel of Fortune. So that, you know, your person just feels at this point the actions that they are going to take is going are going to mirror yours. That if you're just going to go out and have fun, which they've seen you doing, you're not committing. They're just going to take their chances. So you have a situation that you both really want this relationship. It looks like you might be a great match. But it's almost as though both of you are just sort of putting your hand up. I mean, you both want... 
you're really comfortable partying, they're not. But they're also smart, and I don't know if smart's the right word, but they're definitely not, they're going to take their chances. That's what I'm saying. They're like, okay, well, if you don't want to date me, if you don't want to have a serious relationship, you know, I'll take my chances. But your person is a hermit. They have a tendency, that's Virgo energy. They're much more picky than you are in terms of how they spend their time. They tend to you know, seek answers within. You're dealing with somebody who's just more serious than you are. The emperor energy. Oh, whoa. So you're dealing with an emperor and they are just not going to settle. They're not going to settle, period, the end, for anything other than what they want. They'll go out. They'll have fun. They know how to do that. They're very good at it. So let's see what the actions are that you're going to take and that uh, that your person's going to take. Well, you and your person, okay. Five of Cups, it looks like you offer an apology up. I get you start to just hang out alone, and you give this some serious thought because you really like this person. You truly like them. So this energy uh, that's hidden here is that both of you are in the, <laughs> you're in this energy of rethinking the situation. Your person is in the energy of, you know, they're, they're, they have a really good, successful career life. Not to say that you don't, but Six of Cups, they have a really good group of friends that may be a little bit more serious than your group of friends. Yours are more about partying. The Six of Cups, that group of friends tend to be more business associates who are on the same page with your emperor energy. Let's see, what else do we have? Mother of Swords. Ooh, this person is Judge Judy, Judge Jury Executioner. You're not going to get the Emperor really to bend. You just are not. The Emperor wants what the Emperor wants. They're very strategic. They're willing to hold out. And at this point, I'm really getting that the outcome card is that the two of you come together. So let's see what that's about. Why are the two of you coming together? From your side, they walked away from you. So you, you're coming together because you miss this person. You know, you want something more. You feel as though, you know, you feel as though your lack of seriousness made them walk away. And so as an outcome, we get you feeling a little disengaged here. But remember, this is your outcome. And both of you create that outcome together because we have the Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. So what brings you back to the table for equal give and take is the fact that your person walked away from you, okay? Not really directly, but that's kind of a ghosting card there. And this emperor is all about, you know, I'm going to do what's good for me. I'm going to take care of me. And you're shocked by it. Look at that. So let's see what they're doing. The Eight of Wands. They're being very enthusiastic. You know, they're kind of flirty with you. They're communicating with you a lot because, you know, they really do like you. They do want you. So what is it that you're going to do after to meet this? meet at the middle ground of the Six of Cups. Oh, Ten of Cups, oh my goodness. Once you jump in, Aquarius, you jump all the way in. You're, you go from zero to 100. You're going from the energy of walking, you know, of going, okay, they walked away, do it to do it. Oh, I guess I have to marry them. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that's what you actually think, but they seem to be balanced in a more... Um, strategic way than you are. You seem to be like in a reactionary mode. I want them. I'll keep them. I'll, I'll be exclusive with them. If that's what they want, that's what I'll do to keep this relationship. Now, let's see how they feel about that. The judgment card. Okay, good. So they make a decision. The judgment is releasing. What are they releasing? Aha. Uh -huh. uh, they're releasing other people. You are their ship that has come in. So you and your person finally sort of get on the same page here. And it looks as though the two of you are coming together in relationship. You, it, uh, you are a bit reluctant here. But let's see what we have. You're both very successful and you're both very big personalities. So it's kind of interesting. But that emperor energy, it tends to prevail very strategically so. All right. So what is your destiny wish for this relationship? 
So what you want out of this is breaking the trail. A breakthrough is at hand. All right, so that's really the destiny that you're seeking is having a breakthrough in your love life, in your romantic life. What is their wish for destiny? Unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. Interesting. So you are unlike anybody that they have ever dated. But they find you absolutely fascinating. They don't want to go anywhere. They want to get to know Aquarius better. You're unique. Let's look and see what the emotional clarifiers are with the uh, Heart of the Fairy Oracle. Okay, so what energy is it? mischief or mayhem that you bring into the relationship with this party card. Your party card is more body, you know, it's more like, oh, the girl should go hang out. Their, their party energy is more like a group of close friends who go out for dinner and have drinks. Pricking up your ears, okay. So you really do listen. You do tune in to your person. You're paying very close attention. So what's going on here, this Smith? So now that you really have a clear understanding of what they want, you're, you are taking this seriously. You know, I think that you were pretty casual before. But the Smith is all about, you know, throwing the hammer, doing the work, you know, bringing yourself into alignment. But the temptation is there, man. So you're... Your energy is one of just less seriousness, period. You are more likely to be tempted or drawn away from a faithful relationship than your person. Your person is over here in this energy of being much more sort of, I don't know. I don't know. I want to say homegrown, but I don't know why I would say that. I've never used that word in all the years I've been reading tarot. Your person is more homebound. They want a more traditional relationship. You're tempted by the new, the unusual. You'll do the work, but I think you get bored easily in relationships. So, you know, tell me, because in the comments below, I need to also understand the reading. Sometimes I look at this and I think, well, this is unusual. So your person has a tendency to be a little bit on the shy side. They tend to like to be alone. They like to plan for the future. They're of two minds. So what I get here is that they are very comfortable. The hidden one and the hermit card are very similar. Of two minds means that your person feels conflicted about whether to step into this relationship. They know that they have a lot of fun with you. So let's look down here at the outcome. How? What is your outcome versus your person's outcome in terms of the energy? that you end the reading on. Queen of Passage, again, you're really, you are willing to go forward in your life into the unknown. You're willing to trust spirit to lead you there, to be led there. And your person is in the energy of the maiden. Oh my God. Here's what you didn't know. This person that you're with has not been with a lot of people. They may have gotten married very young, your person, Aquarius, is much more sort of innocent, less experienced in terms of intimacy and relationship. That's why they're so serious. For those of you who are older, you might be dating someone who is who was married for many years in their life. You might be dating a widower. But, you know, all this time while you've been single and having fun and mingling and you know, just out there. This person has been much more secluded. All right, so let's take a look at one more card for each in terms of the outcome here. The Six of Pentacles. What is your per What are you bringing to the table? Dreaming. Okay, so you really do have this dream of having a wonderful relationship of equal give and take. And what is their additional energy that they're closing out the reading with? The Lady of Leprechauns, they feel that you are very unique, very special, very unusual. This is a new situation for you. You're a new kind of a person for them. They see you. You know, that a leprechaun makes sense because I, if I were to assign leprechauns to any zodiac sign, Aquarius would be the one because you're playful, you're clever, you're funny, you're unpredictable. Um, 
and that's what they like about you. So I'm going to leave it there. Aquarius, thanks so much for joining me.